Happy holidays, everyone. So we put Buck's presents under the tree here. Hopefully he doesn't tear into them before Christmas morning. Let's get to it. So apparently Buck is scared of his presents or trees. He is like nowhere to be found. So today we got to go check on the cattle here quickly. I don't know why I walked away from my bobcat. We're going to take this. Uh, basically we're going to go check on them. If you don't know, we uh, basically bought a whole bunch of Holsteins for our dairy barn over here. Uh, of course, every morning. You have to milk your Holsteins when you, you got to milk cattle. So that is a demanding process. Uh, we did start harvest uh, for gems. Uh, all of our crops are still too wet. We don't really have too great of a dryer or can we afford to dry all of our crops. So we're going to hold off a little bit. Uh, Jim's contract actually uh, fell through for his wet corn. So we're going to hold off Kalmbun and his wet corn right now don't know if it's going to be in the future but because we got harvesting coming up in the near future and everything else I want to do something for the wifey today we have to purchase her Christmas gift uh, she has been uh, very loyal to me and been by my side so I think we're gonna splurge a little bit we're gonna get her uh, something big, something real big. Uh, probably don't. This is we can't get this Christmas gift every year. Let's just say that. So uh, the dealership that we purchased our GMC from uh, has basically restocked. So we're gonna go down there. We're gonna see if we can swing a deal for one of the vehicles. All right, so we are going to take the GMC down, or should we take the Ranger? Uh, we better take the GMC. We look legit when we're rolling in on a GMC Denali. So, don't look like they could take us for a swindle of a deal anyways. I hope uh, Buck gets used to his uh, Christmas tree under there. Uh, we do have a voice box on these Christmas trees. Good music to listen to, especially on the holidays. I hope you all get a chance to get some time off these holidays from school, from work, or just from the normal routine of every day to spend a little time with your family and friends. Uh, make sure you reach out to them people that just don't have no one to uh, be with over the holidays and uh, invite them in. It's always a good Samaritan thing to do. Invite them in. It only has to be a couple minutes or give, go get them a cheap gift downtown or something like that. But remember, uh, give forward at this time of the year because uh, this is a high uh, stress time of the year for a lot of people. It's always the worst time of the year for people to be in depression. So just make sure, you know, you uh, you spend it with somebody you love, care about, or like. So before we go over there, I'm going to uh, drop off a uh, gift to uh, Jim over here. He's been such a good uh, boss. He's only yelled at us like every other day. So we're just going to drop off a gift to him just to be uh, Santa today. All right. Uh, gift is dropped off. Uh, for some reason, he didn't give me a gift. Do you think that's because I'm a bad farmhand or he'll give it later? I don't know. Of course, we got Santa hat on today. I'm just feeling festive today. So we, we're going to go down here to the dealer. Uh, you guys probably saw it when I bought this GMC uh, truck. 
we went down there. Uh, they, uh, they're a used dealer, and they go for a lot of stock. So the good thing is we're going to go check it out. I, I called them, and they s just to uh, fill them out, see what they have, because uh, I don't think we could probably buy my wife a truck. Uh, she'd probably really like that, but that would definitely be a big Christmas gift. So uh, I was hoping they had a wide variety of vehicles so we can uh, test drive them all. Uh, I did ask them just in case because this is a lot of money. I want to make sure my wife will like it because uh, I'm not going to buy her another Christmas gift next year. At least another vehicle, that is. So, I want to make sure she is able to return it if she just hates it, too. Ooh. So, here we are. They're a little festive. Christmas. So yeah, I see a lot of different vehicles here. Pull in here. We got a Jeep, a Chevy. Uh, looks like a Ram back there. Another old Chevy, an old Ford. Yeah, they definitely got a good lineup here. Uh, I guess we will uh, park this right here. So let's see what. What's this? It looks like a K10 Silverado here. So this has the bow tie on front. I am not crazy about these rims. Nope. Not feeling the rims, so they're just not my style. I don't think they're my wife's style. I hope not anyways, but uh, I like more rubber on my tire. Let's just say that. Uh, that's probably a really hard uh, ride. Let's just see inside this. Uh, not too bad. I'm just curious to listen to this. It sounds like we got a loud water sound here. Ooh, that sounds good. So it does sound like it's a uh, big block Chevy in there. Uh, I'm not for sure what exactly has under the hood but I'm not too interested just not my style anyways uh -oh. so uh, this looks a little bit expensive so this is a King Ranch uh, Ford Customs Super Duty looks like it has uh, molded tires on it Ooh. Uh, so it, it's a 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel it's three quarter ton uh, we could probably afford this, but dang, that would be expensive. My wife is super, but I don't know about this suit. I like the insides. Big in the insides so far. Uh, it has a, like, uh, greenish. Not crazy about the green. Is that leather, it looks like? Yeah. Just not really digging it. Maybe, let's... Let's just try to drive this one. Actually, we probably should go tell the dealer that we're, we want to test drive some vehicles and let them know we're here. We didn't even announce ourselves. That's kind of rude. Let's, uh, let's go do this before we get run out of this dealership. All right, so basically, I guess when you buy like a $60,000 truck, you could drive, test drive anything on the lot. So. Alright, so let's test drive this. Alright, here we go. I really just want to do uh, some uh, cookies or some donuts in this guy's uh, sugar beet field. But that would be rude. I just don't know why. I just want to see what this thing can do. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, I, uh, I think this is a little bit too much for my wife, but man, uh, I'm kind of digging the Ford look and style. The more and more I look at it, to be honest, I wasn't digging it at first, but it just it seems like the new styles just always grow on you after a while. At least for me, that's how I feel. I don't know if you guys feel the same way when you're looking at uh, 
like a new body style of trucks if you like it right away or it kind of has to grow on you. It's kind of like the Chevy style. Chevy style kind of had to grow on me for a while before I really started liking it. I do like the front look. So when you're seeing this come down the road, this thing looks so bad. It looks bad coming down the road. I just love it at night. I see these and with that kind of, uh, I call it sea lights. I don't know exactly what you would, but they're LEDs. They kind of make a foam appearance or a C and uh, they just look so sweet coming down the road I think all right so this looks like a 2020 uh, Dodge two-tone uh, three-quarter ton limited four by four of course it's got some BF Goodriches on it uh, chrome front end uh, we got a little uh, music playing over there uh, I kind of like the step bar here. I'm really surprised this doesn't have a bigger uh, screen in the center. I thought Dodges put a giant screen in the center of their uh, their consoles or their dash there, but that's I've I've seen a few and looked through them and they just look so sweet inside. So let's see what this thing has under the hood. Pretty sure it has a Cummins. See how much it uh, really purrs. It's going fairly good, so I mean, it, I kind of dig in the two tone. Don't know if if I had my pick, I would pick this or not. But I guess it, it does only have ten thousand miles on it. Can't hardly find that. I mean, who buys a twenty twenty Dodge and gets rid of it? 10,000 miles. Does that mean it's a it's like a lemon or something like that? I don't know. I mean, that's kind of sketchy. Don't know what to think about that. Uh, this is definitely an option. Uh, I think this would look great as a Christmas gift just because it's uh, red. Who wouldn't want a uh, pretty red truck on Christmas? But I guess we will see. Uh, I kind of it kind of depends on what the final price is on this I guess all right so that's parked what the heck so my wife doesn't she is not like a tall woman so she's small she, she's shorter than me she's always dig these big trucks but I think this would definitely be too much for everyday uh, work truck holy cow I, I kind of want to drive this. There looks like there's some like uh, orange suspension thing going through the cab here. I'm not crazy about that. That probably interfere a lot with braking. Don't know exactly. I mean, that's probably not a good thing to have. I mean, listen to the uh, smoke stacks. I mean, it kind of has a lot of body roll to it. Uh, I kind of like the kind of off paint right here. So I believe this is a 2019. Uh, I don't know for sure if I'm digging completely the Cummins sound with the smokestacks, but I mean, to be honest, I just wanted to test drive this monster truck. I mean, how many opportunities do you have in life to test drive a monster truck? There is no way my wife would want this vehicle for an everyday driver it's just not gonna happen but see it was fun to drive let's just say that yeah and to uh my wife isn't exactly the best driver so pretty sure she would uh possibly run over some stuff with this truck so uh probably shouldn't think about getting this big of a truck for her Let's just say that. All right, so we got, oh, we got some cars here. So what is this? That tree is very annoying. Okay, uh, they look like they're the exact same. I'm, oh, 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 wait, right. now I'm in the middle of the trees. You can't hear that tree or that tree. This is, that way you don't have to see, hear it the whole time. Looks like this is a Dodge Charger. It might be a police 
uh, edition. I don't know if it's like an inter interceptor police edi edition or not, because just by the paint schemes on it, that's what my guess is. I'm trying not to move too much because of that, uh, the, the noisy trees, but, hmm. Let's see. Let's get in the white car test drive it. Alright, uh, appears like there's a fuse out or something on the dash. Uh, we have no lights, but, hmm. It's definitely, uh, got some gajonas behind it. Thing is definitely going. The one thing I like about these Dart ch Chargers, and I think they're, I mean, I don't know a lot about cars, let's be honest, so I'm mostly a truck guy or SUV guy. Uh, haven't spent or researched the cars a lot, but I did have a good buddy that had one of these, uh, a Scat Cat Dodge Charger, I think it was, I believe it was, and I just was crazy about his interior of his car it's just so clean like all this there's very few amount of buttons I know there's a few on here but like most of it's all like screen everything's clean everything's clean in appearance that's the type of uh, vehicle I like clean slick doesn't have to be overly flashy just something very clean uh, this one is definitely, they're probably getting this ready for, uh, or just got this from the police department. So, because it uh, looks like they've been uh, tearing the dash or got something wrong with the dash. The, the interior lighting don't work, let's just say that. But, uh, oh yes, there's your light right there, your spotlight. So... This is an old Interceptor, or going to be an Interceptor car, so, uh, it's a pretty cool car. Don't think, uh, it's really for us right now. Uh, primarily, my wife is not a car person. She's not a car fanatic. She doesn't want a car. Now, this is a possibility. This isn't bad. This is a Ford Custom Bronco got a winch in front when she gets stuck all the time got an axe to chop down the forest kind of like digging the back uh, kind of got that old feel to it I guess uh, netting the back netting of the cab there definitely won't be fun in the winter time uh, I'm digging the inside I'm digging that sound man this reminds me I mean I, I don't know if this is the same year as my cousin's truck, or Bronco, sorry, but this thing is one mean sounding uh, vehicle. I have always thought Fords have everyone else beat for sound. Uh, me, my favorite sound of any vehicle ever is from a Mustang. I don't, there's something about that kind of, uh, I guess, how would you describe it? Kind of gurgle of a Mustang. I used to own an old uh, Chevy SS Camaro with the LS1 in it. Man, I thought them sounded good, but I tell you what, all my buddies with the, the old Mustangs, man, I always envied the sound they made on them. But this thing sounds good too. I mean, this thing is a mean sounding beast. Don't know about the green though. I don't know, I think it's too much of a chance take I I'm not crazy about it I don't know if my wife would be crazy about it uh, I don't think we'd have to basically uh, buy a topper for it and it's just an older vehicle so I don't this is a good like weekend driver when you don't have to uh, start it up and go to work but when you have to get to work on time, otherwise you get a demerit and everything, uh, you need a reliable vehicle because uh, even if you can work on your trucks, uh, you never know when that's going to be that time when you have a your truck don't start or your Bronco don't start. You know, you end up having to uh, be late for work. Not a good. I mean, 
let's face it, you do that uh, alone without any uh, extra issues. So you definitely don't want uh, a unreliable vehicle adding to that. Okay, this looks like a uh, 19 Dodge Ram Cummins. Don't know if this would be considered a Dodge. I think this is just a Ram. I'll probably get in trouble for saying Dodge. But this is a Ram Cummins Turbo. Uh, one ton edition. Ooh, look at that. Alaska plates on it. Pioneers of Alaska. A limited 4x4. It's got the Ram head. I just love that. The real rear tailgates of these. They just look so mean to me, I think, anyways. I'm not crazy about this uh, color scheme, though. I don't know if you guys would be. Uh, I I think this, like, kind of says, like, hey, um, old. I don't think this would be a great thing to get my uh, wifey. It just, it seems like this is a good retirement truck. Uh, I don't think my wife would appreciate it if I bought this color I don't think this is her color it's kind of I guess maybe it's kind of purpley but mm, nah on the other hand this uh, K30 I think K90 Scottsdale not for sure what this is to be honest but this color just has something to it it's kind of got that old feel color scheme going to it with it. I mean, look at that chrome. That is clean chrome. So usually, I mean, that took some extra uh, buffing to get that chrome, uh, all the chrome accents without dents in them. That's impressive right there. That's not cheap, let's just say that. It does sound really good. Just like that Bronco, I think... If I was going to compare the two, I'd say the Bronco sounded better, but it's really close. That's just my opinion anyways. Uh, this thing, I kind of like the dashes. Reminds me of my old, uh, our old work farm truck. He had one of these with a flatbed on it. Man. We didn't have power windows on ours. We only had the AC of uh, breaking up them corner windows, to be honest. That's the only AC we had. This is a nice truck. But, again, my wife is very, uh, she's not a, my wife is kind of small, so she might look kind of odd driving a big four-door truck like this. This is definitely a cool truck to have. Uh, I kind of, I'm really digging the color of it, but I just don't think this is for us right now. Wouldn't be a bad truck to have, though, that's for sure. All right, so now we got a Silverado here. Hmm. So this looks like a new Silverado, I think. 19, maybe, or 2020. So, interior. I'm not crazy about the new interior of the Silverados. Uh, I really like the out exteriors of the Silverados, but so I don't know if you guys all know, but I own a 2018 uh, GMC. Uh, I'm more to me, it's almost the exact same interior, just slight differences, but it just seems like your dash and your controls right there are just so far away. That's just my opinion though. Uh, but this would be a good reliable truck another thing that I'm definitely gonna have in the next truck is a set for driver positions because uh, my wife isn't the biggest person so when I drive a vehicle and when she drives a vehicle let's just say there's a huge difference so I get in her vehicle and I eat the steering wheel like I bump my knees, I bang my head, it, it's, it just, it looks awkward. So I just want one of them uh, driver's buttons there so I can just push two. So I could drive this vehicle around, or 
push one so my wife can drive it around just such a convenient thing to have to have like if you have never had that and you get it on a vehicle that you uh, share with somebody else you're just like oh this is the best thing ever because once you have your settings set you don't ever want to change it at least I don't that's just my opinion anyways man this is a tight dealership like yeah but uh, this would be a good option too uh, I just think it would be more of the same because we already have a uh, we already have a 2018 GMC at the farm, so I think my wife would really like that. Now, to be honest, when I first pulled up, this was one of the things that caught my eye. I'm not going to drive it just yet because I want to drive everything first before I drive that. Because that is definitely might be a possibility. So of course my wife loves Mustangs but primarily there's no way I could afford a Shelby Mustang for my wife but I'm gonna test drive this anyways I mean when you have an opportunity to drive a Shelby Mustang you test drive it this is like one of them rare moments in life where you seize the moment and you test drive your Shelby Mustang I'm really, I thought this would have more of a launch, but just like I said, like this Mustang sound is just, can't beat it. I mean, listen to that thing purr. That's impressive, but very impressive. Looks like the rear view mirror doesn't work there. Uh, either that or it's tilted all the way up, but something's definitely going on with that. Uh, there's no way I can afford this, but uh, it was worth the test drive, let's just say that. So, I've been having some issues with my Bobcat little UTV I have. Thinking about maybe swinging a deal to get this Honda just might happen so you know when you're buying your wife's gift you always got to think about yourself too and then, you know why, why not important like maybe we could use two of these on the farm you never know you never know but that is definitely well actually we better test drive it but we will probably definitely swing a deal for this pioneer honda all right, so we got this Ford. So my wife kind of likes the appearance of curved lines. So she doesn't like the look of uh, the straight lines like on this uh, Chevy right here. The Silverado, how you kind of see the straight lines. She doesn't like that at all. Uh, kind of the Ford has it too over there. So it's kind of the new style. But she definitely likes the old school kind of curved lines like that. I, to be honest, I kind of do too. You can kind of tell with uh, the truck I drive. But this has some straight lines, but that curved front, I mean, I just think this is one of the best looking Fords out there, in my opinion. Things, the cab doesn't look the greatest in here. Uh, not crazy about that. Kind of looks like uh, it was taken apart too many times, let's just say that. Uh, really impressed with the sound of this though. So, this is a Power Stroke Diesel, one ton, XLT. Does have a gooseneck hitch, all that stuff is really not important when it comes to my wife. We're not going to be, she's not going to be pulling something. She doesn't need the one ton. Uh, but I would like it. So this is basically what I thought. I mean, I just love these rims on there. I think I should get these big uh, beefy wheels on my truck. Uh, my truck is just a three quarter ton, but I just love the look of these type wheels on a truck. Especially this... Uh, Ooh, that's only a 250? No, that's a that's a one ton. 
So this is a 2500 HD. No, this is a this is a 3500 HD. There's no way. Inside has some gauges up there, boost gauges and all that stuff. Diesel uh, monitoring gauges. Man, uh, I guess if I can get that uh, marking fix, maybe this is a uh, upgrade. I, I mean, I would like a nice uh, a nice uh, back uh, flatbed for my truck. I mean, just look at that. Pretty uh, impressed by this whole truck, to be honest. I, I don't think we can swing a deal for me to upgrade my truck and get my wife a... Uh, her Christmas uh, present of her dreams but so all right so now it's the test drive I've been wanting to do so the Jeep Grand Cherokee I believe this is a 2018 style uh, it's unlimited the back window kind of looks odd but other than that I just love the new lights that they put on these uh, I do like the red accents on the wheels. Oh, this is a SRT, huh? Hmm. Pretty impressed. Uh, definitely like the sound of this thing. That is some gajonas. That's some more, more gajonas. So, this thing is impressive. Yeah. Yeah, so... All of you that probably know me automatically knew that I was probably getting my uh, wifey a new Jeep Grand Cherokee. I just love the red accents in here. Don't know if my wife will, but I think she'll really uh, dig this uh, new Jeep here. This is, we gotta seal the deal. I mean, we got to seal the deal on this. This is a very impressive uh afraid this is probably going to cost the same about as my truck, but we will see what kind of deal we can get. I do like the air exhaust on the hoods of these the Jeeps. So they basically kept the same style since uh, basically 2011. Uh, I only know that because I own a 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee. But they changed a little bit. The headlights, the hood there. A uh, little bit of fascia change, but not much. Trim, package, and stuff. Uh, this does have a hitch, which is cool. It does have dual exhaust. I'm surprised it doesn't say SRT on the back there or something. But all right, let's see what we could get this for. Also, if you like this video, make sure you uh, hit that like button. Uh, hit that subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Thank you. And to all that have been watching me this year, thank you a ton. You guys have been so faithful, so nice, so courteous. You always leave good, nice comments for me down there. Uh, I really appreciate you. You keep me going. If you all know, I'm an active duty military, so I have a lot of work. I am usually very busy, but... You know, I do find time for doing this so I can keep you guys happy. I do enjoy all the interactions I get with you guys. So thank you all for that. Really enjoy that. From the bottom of my heart to you guys, thank you. Uh, you've been great this whole year. Uh, I haven't even uh, been on this channel for a whole year, to be honest. So less than a year, about a half year. But thank you all. It's been an amazing run here. All right. So we got it. We got it for $55,000. So I think we got a great deal. You have to let me know if you think. I don't know what type of surprise we are going to do. But somehow we got to figure out a good surprise to give her. But thank you all for watching. And I will see you later here in Oregon. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.